amazing to share a personal story, and it's this. People ask me all the time, Glenn, why do you wear pink shoes on stage? Well, the answer is very simple. Back in 2012, I lost my mom to a horrible battle with breast cancer. And one of the ways as an entertainer I can honor not only my mom, but honor people who I perform for who've had to deal with the challenges that cancer brings into one's life is to wear pink on stage. So if you've been sitting there for the last 30, 35 minutes wondering why this crazy magician's wearing pink shoes on stage, well, now you know the answer. And maybe, just maybe, one day, we can find a cure to a disease that takes too many of our loved ones away from us early on in life. My mom passed away at age 63. So that's why tonight I'm proud to wear pink in front of each and every one of you. When her mom passed away, she told me two things. She said, son, thank you for making me laugh when I didn't feel like laughing. The second thing she taught me is what you're going to see here in just a minute. You see, ladies and gentlemen, life is not always about amazing cruise ships. My mentor, Jeff Holier, taught me that rope trick. He also taught me this acronym called DOODAD. DOODAD stands for do one day at a time. See, ladies and gentlemen, life can be difficult at times. It can be a challenge. It can be tough. There might be someone here tonight that's hurting, that's struggling, because you may have just lost somebody, or something's happened in your life or your family. I hope you always remember that acronym, do that, when times get tough. Because as I said, life is not always about coming on an incredible ship and creating incredible memories with each and every one of you are doing. Life is what happens when we get back, you get off the ship, and you head home, wherever that may be. But ladies and gentlemen, my message of encouragement to each and every one of you here tonight is to remember doing one day at a time. I'll never forget the last cruise I took with my mom. Incredible memories. I'll never forget. I've been working on this next trick since 2017. You're all the 200 audience who've seen it perform live with this version. I think it's pretty cool, but I want you to listen to the message my mom can make to me five hours before she took her last breath, gained her wings, and went up into heaven. Let's all say that together. One, two, three. Do that. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our magical journey thus far. But I want to share with you a story my mom passed on to me. It's this. She said, son, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, or the color of your skin. You see, we are all one human race. My mom said, son, there might be moments in your life where you might be angry or even have hatred. Anger towards people who hurt you. Hatred of what you might see going on in this world around you. But she said, son, all of our lives are like a perfectly framed puzzle. My mom went on to tell me, she said, son, there are many pieces to the puzzle of your life. Some of those pieces will include the following. Our families, our friends, our careers, our expectations, the things we enjoy doing the most in life. And mom said one of the most important pieces to the puzzle of my life would be my heart. She said, Glenn, if you can learn to love people who are different than you, maybe they'll learn to love you back when they think you're different to them. My mom said I would spend a lifetime rearranging the pieces of the puzzle of my life so they always fit perfectly. A perfectly framed life. And just when you think life is perfect, she said, Another piece of the puzzle will appear. You won't know where to put it, son. It just won't fit. It could be something unexpected, perhaps losing a job, or a greater tragedy, losing someone you love so much. But my mom said, Glenn, if you believe that that piece right there is just as important as all these other pieces that make up your life, all you have to do is believe that it belongs and rearrange the pieces to make it fit. So it was peace. 
peace. That's P-E-A-C-E. -E. You see, ladies and gentlemen, peace brings a magical harmony to all of our lives and everything that you do. And if you find peace in your life, everyone you come in contact with will be better off because they met you. But my mom said, Glenn, that will be the hardest piece to figure out daily, is to live peacefully with people who might be different than you. She said, believe or you're racist.